Welcome to the 2020 NFL Draft. No, I'm just kidding. But apparently, uh, that's also happening tonight. Go figure. Um, welcome back to our Friday Learn to Dance at Home stream. I uh, hope everybody had a wonderful week. We are going to be talking about uh, Matt's least favorite dance tonight, the American Foxtrot. I personally very much enjoy it. Um, and the music that I have for this evening's stream is, we'll just say eclectic. Um, I feel like we've learned at this point that the uh, YouTube royalty-free media library is a little bit interesting. And there are some songs in today's playlist that definitely don't sound like other songs specifically from Love Actually. Um, but we'll get into that later. So if this is your first time tuning in, welcome. Uh, we're going to be spending the next hour or so going over some basic patterns and some basic footwork that you can practice at home, regardless of what your level is. And if you've been here before, thank you for coming back. Um, we're going to dive right into the first pattern in American Foxtrot. I'm going to go through it from the leads perspective first, and then I'm going to come back to the follows perspective. Um, much like Tango, the lead and the follow are going to be completely separate on this one so uh, just kind of keep that in mind as we go through so from the leads perspective I'm going to be starting forward on my left I'm going to take a walking step forward left forward on my right take a side step to my left and then I close my feet so once again I have left right side together now, I am gonna count that slightly differently. I'm gonna count it as two slows and two quicks. So I have slow, slow, quick, quick, and then I can repeat it again. So one more time, we have slow, slow, side together. Now, if I'm a follow, I'm gonna be doing the same thing, but I'm gonna be going backwards to start. So I'm actually going to be starting backwards on my right foot, I'm gonna go back on my right, back on my left, side together. So I turn around, I have back on my right, back on my left, side together. And one more time from the follows perspective, I have slow, slow, quick, quick. Um, now, if you were here for uh, the tango lesson and the waltz lesson, I made the point of saying pretty early in those streams that I'm not going to be doing the correct um, dragging or pushing footwork with my feet, just because that is going to sound pretty nasty for those of you that are headphone users. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind if you're practicing this at home. You do want to be driving and pushing with that heel along the floor, but I'm going to be picking up my feet and being a little bit softer on my feet um, for the purposes of everyone's earbuds. So I'm going to bring Matt in and we're going to go ahead and try this together. Just the basic and we're really only going to have enough space in this room to do one forward and then we're going to reset and then We'll quickly talk about how to turn a corner so we can do that. All right. So you got your beach ball. Your beach ball frame. I'm gonna step in so we're still offset. Okay. You're going forward on your left. I'm going backwards on my right. Two walking steps. We okay. have the left, the left side together. Very nice. And if we okay. back up and try that again, <laughs> and we have the left, the left. Side together. All right. All right. Seems pretty simple. So far, so good. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to quickly move on to uh, turning our corners. So that way we can make this into a little bit more of a flowy pattern rather than stop and reset. Mm -hmm. But if anyone has any questions as we go through when it comes to the basic, just let us know and we can talk it through in more detail. What was the other thing we did recently that ended up getting turned into a circle? Our little space here. Tango. Tango, yeah. Yeah, we had our curving basic in our tango. I assume that's kind of what we're going to end up doing here. Um, no. So, so oh. foxtrot. I'm going to keep very um linear. So we actually are going to be turning our corners, similar to what we actually did in our waltz, where we traveled and then we turned ninety degrees, traveled and then ninety degrees. Oh, okay. Um, so. The turn that I'm going to be using for today is called a left rock turn. Um, some syllabuses also call it a left ad lib. I prefer rock turn because I feel like it's a little bit more logical in its name. 
Um, so from the leads perspective, if we do a basic, mm -hmm. we have slope, slope, side, together. And then from here, I'm gonna step forward on my left, rock backwards on my right, turn 90 degrees, take a side step, and close my feet. Do that, do that again. Yeah, so I'm gonna step forward on my left into my corner, mm -hmm. Backwards on my right, shifting my weight, turn, take a side step, and close my feet. Okay. So you haven't really moved, you've just rotated. I've just done like okay. a pivot reposition. Okay. Yes. But the step you take is in the exact opposite direction you want to go. Yeah, uh, it's directly <clears throat> forward. So, oh, okay. so if I... So I'm going to do something that I would never do on the dance floor, and then I'm going to tell you why I would never do something. Okay. So if I if I have my north south mm -hmm. um, floorboards, mm -hmm. I would have slow slow side together. I'm going to step directly north, shift my weight south, and then turn to my east and close my feet, or turn okay. to my west rather and close my feet. Why do you say you would never do that on a dance floor? Because. Which way am I continuing to travel if I do like a bunch of basics? I have slow, slow. Counterclockwise, I guess. Uh, if we were doing this as a rotation, yeah. but on a straight line, am I am I continuing in a straight path or am I drifting to my left? Oh, you're drifting to the left, I guess. I'm drifting, drifting yeah, to my left. Yeah, because you you do a left step and it closes at the end of every. Yes, and if we so. think. Not that this is a nice open square, but mm -hmm. rather that this is, oh, let's say a traffic circle. Because we, we travel okay. counterclockwise around yeah. the floor, right? Sure. If this is my lane and I drift to the left, that's going to put me in the grassy center of the circle. And if I continue okay. traveling to the left, sure. I'm now in oncoming traffic, sure. correct? I guess. So you're not going to feel this way in a 20 by 20 space or a 10 by 10 space. But on a social dance floor, if you travel down straight line of dance, you are eventually going to cut across the center of the floor and uh -huh. drift into oncoming traffic. Okay, sure. So instead of training myself to go directly down line of dance, this is something that I would recommend doing even in little confined spaces as well, um, I am always going to set myself up oh, okay. diagonal wall. So I'm 45 degrees okay. off of my line of dance. It, it took us a while to get there, but now I understand. Yeah. So okay. that way, so when I'm traveling, instead of going straight down yeah. north-south, I'm actually yeah. perpendicular, or I'm, I'm at an angle. Uh -huh. So I have my slow, slow side together. So I'm continuing to travel this way, but I'm not facing it. Gotcha. So I step directly into my corner, which is forward for me rock back, and then as I turn my corner, this is my new line of dance, yeah. so I still want to be 45 degrees. I got you. I got you. Yeah. All right. So that being said, leads footwork in the corner one more time. Uh -huh. We'll do a basic. Sure. So we have slow, slow, oh. side together for our basic, yeah. and then we're going to step forward on the left, rock backwards on the right, turn, and then close our feet. Okay. Yes. From the follows perspective, we're going to be doing the same thing. So we're going backwards on our right with our basic. We have slow, slow, side together. I'm going to step directly back as if I'm taking another basic step. Mm -hmm. I'm going to feel my partner create resistance against my shoulder blade as they shift their weight away from me. So I'm going to step forward onto my left foot and then turn side together to face my new line of dance. So from a follows perspective, one more time, I have slow, slow, side together, I step back, I rock forward, turn, and close my feet. Can I ask a question? Yeah. So one of the dances that we did in the last week or two, I, I no longer remember which, we spent a long time talking about my ability to spin. Yeah. What was that where I was down here doing a, a turn? Um, that, that part was, of the tango? No, that was the bachata. We were switching sides sure. um, with and, the sweetheart cut. And one of the things that we, we spent a lot of time talking about was that when I turned, I needed to stop and then turn and then take the step, the, the next step. 
Precisely. Is that the same thing I'm supposed to be doing here? Is that going to be relevant? I would I would say um, with very few exceptions uh -huh. in dance, if we have any type of rotation or turning motion, mm -hmm. it, you would be better served to treat it as if you were turning on your standing leg than thinking about traveling and turning at the same time. So yes. Oh, yeah. So yes. So from Elite's perspective, you're stepping forward, you're stepping back, then mm -hmm. once my weight is on this foot, then I'm going to turn and then take a step directly to the side. Okay. Rather than trying to like cowboy swing the foot around. Okay. Yeah? I mean, sure. I'll, I'll attempt to remember that. I, I won't make any promises. Yeah. Though. That was good. Okay. Not bad at all. Okay. Uh, let me know in the chat if you guys have any questions or need any clarifications. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, let's do um, four of those kind of together. Where are you walking up to? Oh, you had a uh, oh, comment in chat. chat. There was someone making a weird meme face. A weird meme face. You're yeah. going to have to be more, more descriptive uh, than that. That's all I got. Um, but what are we doing? Okay. So we're going to do a basic <clears throat> uh, corner move. Okay. A uh, left rock turn. Basic left rock turn, basic left rock turn, basic left rock turn until we get back to where we started. So in our space, because we're in a 10 by 10 ish location, that's roughly going to be one basic before you have to do a, a, a corner. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Let's find out. We'll try it. Beach ball. Beach ball. That much. And we're diagonal on our floor. Oh, uh, no. No, I guess we are now. Uh huh. We have hello. Hello. Side together. We're gonna step. Rock. Side together. And slow. Slow. Side together. Step. Rock. Side together. Good. Slow. Slow. Side together. Step. Rock. Side together. Slow. Slow. Side together. Step. Rock. Side together. Okay. I could do, I, I not, could, I not could the use worst a little work. No, yeah. Not um, the worst in the world. So um, the, things things that are elements that we've already talked about in previous streams that I want to bring back just in case we've got folks tuning in for the first time. Sure. Um, we talked about lat engagement previously mm -hmm. and making sure that we want to move the whole frame together all at once. Yes. That oh, says Matt needs music. Oh well, we're, don't um, don't worry. We'll get Matt to does not need music. we'll get to some music. Um, so so we talked about engaging the lats yeah. and that if my body moves, my frame also has to move. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be really important as we turn this corner because if you turn your body but leave your frame, that's where I'm going to end up. Sure. So I only know how much you're going to rotate and how much mm -hmm. you're going to move by by where you place your frame. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing would be make sure that um, as we move, we're acting as if there's a rod that goes from our head to our hip. Uh -huh. So I don't want to tilt forward and I don't want to tilt back. I want to move everything as one continuous ball, okay. one, one flat piece of alignment. Um, the reason why I say that is because on the corner moves, uh -huh. we kind of had a uh, did we? side together. I'm over, I'm over exaggerating it just a little bit, but, um, for leads, especially make sure that you're aware of where your head weight is, because if you come into my space, it's going to feel very claustrophobic. Okay. Let's try that one more time with cats and then we'll try it with music. All right. Beach ball. Yeah. And we have slow, slow, side together, step. Rock, side together, slow, slow, side together, step, rock, side together, slow, slow, side together, step, rock, side together, slow, slow, side together, step, rock, and side together. Very nice. Okay. Very nice. Let's try that with music. And then I'll get on to some interesting turns and spins and such. Uh, I guess I'll ask the question I always ask. Yeah. Is it going to be faster than what we just practiced? No. Is it going to sound worse? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, yeah.
Let me, let me find this one. No. Here we go. This is definitely not uh, Can't Smile Without You. Definitely uh, not that song. It all sounds the same, it doesn't matter. Alright. Beach ball. Five, six. Five, six, seven, and slow, slow, side together, slow, slow, side together, slow, slow, go quick, quick, slow, rock, side together, slow, slow, go quick, quick, slow, slow, go quick, quick, slow, slow, go quick, quick, step, rock, one more time, slow, slow, side together, step, rock. Side together, slow, slow, side together, step, rock, side together, slow, slow, go quick, quick, slow, rock, side together, slow, slow, side together, slow, slow, and stop right there. Nice! That wasn't too bad. I guess. Not too bad at all. Yes, music with a shocked face. We do actually have music occasionally. It's yeah. not good quality music, but it's music nonetheless. Um, and full disclosure for folks that maybe aren't familiar with Foxtrot, this is kind of your first experience with it. Um, that was much faster than the average Foxtrot. I had a very difficult time um, finding music that would work for this <clears throat> mm -hmm. um, that was a slower tempo. Um, there's not a lot of free music out there, royalty-free music, I should say, that kind of fits in that Foxtrot era, just because... A lot of it's pretty mediocre, too. Oh, I like Foxtrot I'll, I'll, music. To the extent that Sam is making a full disclosure, my full disclosure is that I really don't like the, the genre of music. It all just sort of sounds the same. I adore it. I could listen to Frank Sinatra and Michael Bublé for hours and be very, very happy. And you um, have, and I've had, I've been subjected to it. Yeah, but yeah. so, so if you're watching this and you know of anyone that might be willing to let me use their music for Foxtrot purposes, I would love to have their contact info. Um, because yeah, the music today is going to be a little bit faster mm -hmm. um, than it normally would from a social perspective, mm -hmm. or you're just not going to like it. There you go. Sometimes even both. Um, do you want to check in with the chat? Because I'm seeing it run sure. through, sure. which is great. I love an active chat. It makes me very happy. Mm -hmm. um, so, so far we've done our basic and we've done a left rock turn or a left ad lib, depending on which syllabus you're using. We're, the next thing that we're going to get into are side sways and an underarm turn for the follow. Uh, any questions or clarifications that we want to cover before we... Dive into no. those new patterns. So Space Cowboy says that uh, you know the copyright music would be fine for Twitch, but the video would get wrecked, which I think is an issue we already ran into a few weeks ago. Yes, um, uh, with one of the genres. I don't remember what. Yeah, our second ever video. I think um, we pulled a version of the Blue Danube from the YouTube Music Library. Um, and Twitch did not appreciate it, so uh, it already got hits. Yeah. And, and, and we're and and the intention of this is not just a live stream, but also to have a video library, so that if you are a new student and you mm -hmm. want to go back, or you are unable to catch it when it's live, that you can still find it either here as a VOD or over on our YouTube library. Um, so we really want to stay within that copyright or royalty free, a royalty free um, music genre, mm -hmm. just because we don't want to have to deal with muted audio or um, mm -hmm. stricken audio. Yeah, and I mean to your point, so whatever gets uploaded to Twitch then gets downloaded by us if you can upload it to YouTube or yeah. use on your own website. Um, we're not locally recording this. Just, you know, not to get too nerdy, but just the, the logistics of it, it makes things more complicated. It's just not worth it. Yeah. So the copyright music actually does become a problem. Yes. Yeah. The other comment was to ask whether or not you could foxtrot to metal. Um, you could probably foxtrot to metal. 
Uh, it just depends on what you're talking about. So Foxtrot is, um, it comes from the big band era. I normally think of it as like big band standards um, to kind of just put it into context. That being said, I have a copy of a Foxtrot version of Enter Sandman on my practice playlist. Um, what you're looking for is something that's in a medium tempo 4-4 um, that you can dance comfortably to within that 4-4. So um, you have the ability to. I would say probably most metal music is just going to feel better in either a swing or a rumba. In my experience, just from like a very romantic that way. Yeah, yeah, something like that. What yeah. waltzes? Yeah, and, and just to be clear, I think I've heard that Inner Sandman song, and that that is not Inner Sandman. No, that it's not. It's a cover from like a a big band jazzy group doing Inner Sandman, right? Yes, yeah. Somebody's covered it and kind of tweaked with the tempo and um, and some of the instrumentation on yeah. it to make it work. Um. Yeah. I, the other issue that you get into into once you start trying to dance to metal music, and it's something that's come up before because obviously I have students that like to listen to it. Matt, that, that is our preferred listening music some days. Some days. Uh, other days it's hip hop. <laughs> uh, you get If you get into stuff like prog rock, um, they like to play with time signatures. Um, it, fancy like that. Yeah, this is by no means heavy metal, um, but I had a wedding couple a couple years ago dance to a Red Hot Chili Pepper song, and in the middle of one of their bridges, they just decided to switch to 7-8, uh, which was fun to choreograph around. <laughs> so with the rock stuff, especially the more like industrial, prog, um, new metal, death metal end, you get into some weird times again. Up. Yeah, but anyway, uh, transitioning back to Foxtrot, let's talk about Sidesways because I think Sidesways work really well in a confined space. Right. Um, they work really great if you're on a social dance floor and you get into traffic, and it allows us to give the follow and underarm turn, which we have not yet explored in Foxtrot. Okay. Okay, so um, Sidesways, mm -hmm. from the lead's perspective, we are going to step to the side, hence the name. So we're going to step to the side for slow. We can either leave the foot there or we can brush it in. It's completely up to you. We're then gonna shift our weight back for slow. Again, you can either brush or leave the foot there. And then we have our side together like normal. So we have side lows. And I am gonna switch my weight and place my weight on my right foot. So if I do that again, I'm gonna to go to my left, brush, right, brush, and then side. Together. Would you be offended if I made a hokey pokey uh, reference? That feels Did a little. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. All right, I won't do that then. Uh, from the follows perspective, just a regular side sway. I'm starting with my right foot. I have slow. I brush my foot in. Slow brush and then side together. And again, I have slow, slow, and quick, quick. Now. If the lead would like the follow to turn, um, you are going to lead the turn on the quick, quick as you do your side together. So if we do, <laughs> so I like to bookend this. So I'm going to do one regular side sway, then a side sway with an underarm turn, and then another side sway. So I have slow, slow, side together. I'm going to start my second one. Slow. As I come back on my right, I'm going to release my arm, raise my hand to the left, and then continue my footwork, side together, and then do another side sway just to recover for the partner. Slow, slow, side together. A lot of drifting to the left. It is a lot of drifting to the left, and we'll talk about kind of logistically where to place this, okay. should you choose to. Follows perspective, we have a turn. So we're gonna go slow, slow, side together, we have slow. My partner is going to release the arm, so I'm also going to release my hand. I'm going to take a step to my um, side with my right for quick turn, close at the under, shift my weight to my left for quick, and then I have slow, slow, and side together. So one more time. I have slow, slow, 
side together, slow. Release the hand. I'm gonna turn quick, quick, slow, slow, and side together. All right. Questions from you or questions from the chat, or do we want to go ahead and try this? Yeah. I mean, remember we have a stairwell over there if you get too far to the left. We we will only be doing this no. in sets of three. Okay. And if you want, you can just <clears throat> skip the initial prep. So mm -hmm. you can do this as a tour. I would just a two a two Z. Um, I would just make sure that you always give a regular side sway action after the turn. So you can lose the prep but definitely don't lose the ending because that's going to be super important for your partner's balance. Okay. All right, so we're going we're gonna to do our three. We're going to do this as a bookend. Beach ball. Beach ball. So we have slow, slow, side together, slow. Release the hand, lift. I quickly turn, slow, slow, side together. Okay. Yeah? I guess. Let's try that one more time. I forgot what I was doing. That I can tell. Yeah, it happens. <laughs> Easily distracted. A lot engagement. And we have hello, hello, side together, slow, slow, go quick, quick, slow, slow, and quick, quick. Yeah. yeah. Right. Not too shabby. Okay, so let's talk about how and when and where we can introduce this. Mm -hmm. I would put this typically on a short side, the end of a short side. Um, so on a dance floor, normally you have like long side and short side, normally rectangle. Um, if you are dealing in a 10 foot by 10 foot or a 20 by 20 space, like we are currently in or 10 by 10, um, I would treat it as wall one, mm -hmm. two, three, four. Sure. So one and three, I'm visualizing as my short sides and two and four, I'm treating as my long sides. Um, so for our practice routine, uh, for right now, mm -hmm. I would go slow, slow, side together. When I get to this corner, mm -hmm. instead of doing my rock, I can go slow, slow, because we're going to run out of room, go straight into the turn, then recover mm -hmm. with a side basic, and then do my quarter turn in this corner to get back to my basic. Okay. So... Straight basic. Yeah. Turn underarm turn. Okay. Side sway. Uh huh. Left rock turn. Basic. Mm hmm. Underarm turn. Mm -hmm. Side sway. Mm hmm. Left rock turn. There is a lot of things. It is a lot of things, and there's one more set of patterns that I want. I would like to get to today if we can. Uh -huh. um, so let's try this together with counts, and then we'll try it with sure. music. Beach ball. Beach ball. That's uh huh. Basic to start, and we have slow, slow, side together. Then we do our side sways. One release. I quickly turn. Recover. Slow. Uh, whoops. Side together. Uh huh. Rock step now. Okay. Forward. Rock back. Side together. Basic. Slow. Slow. Side together. Sway with an underarm. Slow. Slow. I quickly turn. Quick. Quick. Sway one. Slow. Side together. Rock turn slow. Slow. And side together. Okay. Yeah? Does that make sense? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. Let me know um, in the chat if you guys have any questions or clarifications, mm -hmm. but we're gonna go ahead and try all of that with music, and then I'm gonna talk about some troubleshooting. All right. Is this song gonna sound exactly like the last song? No. It'll, talk, it'll sound slightly different. Sounds like something that would be on Charlie Brown's Christmas. Turn side, side, side together, step, rock, 
side to get over slowly. Alright, that was, that was much faster than I was prepared for. Would you like something a little bit slower? Yeah, yeah, at least until I know what, what in the world I'm doing. Like give me, give me like a uh, 15% slower. The slower, I don't know. Yeah. Did you change songs? I did. Okay. Beach ball. Five, six. Oh, that's much five, slower, I guess. Six, seven, slow. Slow, go away, quick, side, side, go away, turn, side, 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 together, side, rock. Side together, slow, slow, quick, quick, side, side, quick, turn, side, side, side together, step, rock, side together. Okay. That that felt much uh, much cleaner, maybe. Okay. To me, I don't know. I don't know if you thought it was. Yeah. All right. Nothing, nothing terrible there. Okay. Nothing that I'm mad at. All right. Um, and I would say. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Okay, so th those were two different statements. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean, nothing you're mad about? Um. Oh, like, give it to me. Okay. How how harsh do you want me to be? I don't know. You can't go anywhere, so I mean, I would I would take that into consideration. Okay. Uh, your frame is a little bit loose. Yeah, my frame's always shit. What else? Um. Because your frame is loose, uh -huh. the lead on the uh, underarm turn and the rock step is uh -huh. not as clear as it could be. Uh -huh. And especially in the sways, we're losing positioning with each other. Okay. So what do I do? Back your frame in. Fine. <laughs> Maintain your lap Yeah, I'll, I'll pretend that I know how to fix that. Uh, uh, Lock down your laps. Yeah, I know, I know. It's, we, the, we it's the same statement every single time. It is, it is. One of these days. Maybe. All right. Enough repetition. Yeah, what, what's next? Um, so before we get into the last set of patterns that I want to show for today, mm -hmm. I realized that I kind of skipped over in the beginning. Mm -hmm. It said that the Foxtrot is a 4-4 four, four, um, dance yeah. for 4-4 four, four music. But if you are musically inclined and you've been here for a couple of different lessons, you know that a quick is one count and a slow is two counts, mm -hmm. which means my basic is six counts. One, hold two, three, hold four, five, six. Oh, uh, oh, oh. So I have slow, slow, quick, quick. Literally the thought never occurred to me. Great. Um, for some people it's a big, hang it's, it's a big sticking yeah. point. So um, with Foxtrot, I would consider it a rolling one. We talked about it with our East Coast Swing as well, that kind of rolling one concept. So you want to count yourself in a five, six, seven, eight. So you're starting your first phrase on a one or on a downbeat. And then don't worry about where the downbeats hit. Um, you will be hitting a downbeat. It'll just be every six phrases before you're back on a one. Yeah, I mean, as long as you keep counting, it doesn't really matter to me, I guess. Yeah. But that that seems unnecessarily complex. Like, what, couldn't you just do the same dance to a waltz and have fewer problems? No. 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 Because it's already 3-4. It seems like it would just make more sense. Why not? Because the emphasis... On a three? Uh-huh. I'm not going to get a satisfactory answer. No. Right now. Okay, that's fine. We can move on. I, I will set you up with uh -huh. uh, someone that majored in music theory, and they can walk you through <sighs> all of the issues with trying that, that to That sounds almost as painful as these dance lessons. Um, anyways, chat is also uh, telling me that my frame is terrible and I should fix my frame. So. He's, he, he's working on it. He's working on it. <laughs> Again, this is week six, lesson yeah, yeah. eleven or so. So you know he's he he will get there. Yeah. He'll get there. It's in his mind at least. Um, let's talk about promenade walks and maybe a promenade underarm turn as well. Okay. Okay. So uh, promenade. We talked about it in our tango. Do you remember what it means? 
No. Okay. So promenade, a uh, promenade position is any time that you and your partner are traveling along the same line of dance, facing the same line, line of dance. So whenever oh, like it's a shoulder to shoulder thing. It's the shoulder to shoulder yeah, thing. You. Yes. And we're not going to completely open up um, so that we are. Uh, completely side by side with each other. We are going to be facing in an inward diagonal. Um, but yes, so the idea is that we are both traveling along the same way, facing along the same way. So uh, leads footwork mm -hmm. for our promenade walk. Um, we're going to do one regular basic to get into promenade. So I have slow, slow. I'm going to take my step to the side slightly turning that foot out and then as I close my feet underneath I'm going to move my partner to promenade position. What do you mean move your partner to promenade? So uh, we have three blocks of alignment. I talk about it like a G.I. Joe doll. I have my head, I've got my rib cage, and then I've got hips down. So um, with our promenade position I'm leaving my center block and I'm moving my head and my hips. Yeah, it feels very natural. It feels totally natural. Yeah. Uh, leads, you can think about pulling your right side back. Um, follows, we can think about pulling our left side back. So if we go slow, slow, side, I'm turning my hips and I'm turning my head. And then I'm going to stretch that right side so that my sternum still faces my partner, but my hips and my head are 45 degrees along my new line of dance. From here, I'm going to step with my outside foot. I'm going to step across with my inside foot. I'm going to take a side step to face my partner, and I'm going to close my feet. So you're in promenade a very brief period of time. Yes, two okay. counts. Yeah. So I have solo, outside foot, inside foot, side facing my partner, and then I close my feet. Now, if I want to continue in promenade position as I close my feet, Boom, I'm back in promenade position. And then I can go outside, inside, side, close my feet, and I can repeat that as many times as possible. Okay. Uh, follows footwork. Ooh. So we are starting with a back basic. We have slow, slow, side. I'm gonna take my side step with my right, and then I'm going to feel my partner turn into promenade position, so I will turn into promenade position as well. So I'm thinking about keeping that left side back, Right hip has turned, my head has turned to my right as well. Now I'm going to step with my outside foot, my right foot, step across with my inside foot. I'm going to take a side step to square up to my partner, and then either I'm going to close my feet or I'm going to go back into promenade position depending on where my partner puts me. So again, I have slow, slow, side promenade, outside foot. Inside foot, side together. All right. Okay, so let's try that once and then I'm going to talk about how to maneuver in this room. Uh -huh. so we're going to do a basic to start. Let's do this very slowly. Very please. slow. Uh huh. Flat. And we, yep, and we have slow, slow, side, promenade. There you go. Take your head over. Okay. Now we're both going to step with our outside foot. We have outside, step across with our inside, then we're going to face our partner and close our feet. Yeah, we did that. Apparently <laughs> in the wrong spot. Apparently. Um, so remember, leads, that even though we're in promenade position, I still want to be offset. So if we get nose to nose or mm -hmm. I get in front of you, that means that something has gone wrong. Mm -hmm. Let's try that again. Each ball. Each ball. And we have. Slow, slow, side promenade, outside, inside, face your partner. There we go, very yeah. nice, very nice. So as you can kind of tell, we are running out of yeah. room yeah. to do that in the straight line. Mm -hmm. um, for practice purposes, and this is something that you can absolutely do and adapt as you're practicing at home during these times, um, is instead treat it like a curving basic from our tango. So we're just going to walk around in a circle doing our promenade walks. So if we okay. start in promenade facing here, short so promenade position. Yes. We have slow, slow, side promenade. Continue walking, slow, slow, 
side promenade, slow, slow, side promenade, slow. That's slow. very odd. Side promenade, slow. It's not ideal, but it gets the job done, and that's the important thing. I, I, I'm very confused when you start stringing those together about how you end the first one and square up just to immediately that's very odd to me. Yes. So from a social dance perspective, you could 100% cheat this yeah. and just go outside, inside, side together, outside, inside, uh -huh. side I together. That's probably what I was doing. And never square off to your partner. Yeah. I really try to push students to get used to the idea of face your partner and then go into promenade if you want to go into promenade because it makes it easier for the lead Mm -hmm. to get out of the pattern back into a straight basic because me as a follow i'm used to squaring off so if you just have me close my feet then i know i'm going straight back and it also as a follow gets me out of the habit of anticipating that once you get me in promenade we're just going to continue doing things in promenade okay. so i know it feels awkward and it feels like well that's a count that doesn't really match with everything else but it really does serve a purpose, and it'll make you a better lead and a follow the sooner that you get into the habit of doing it. All right. Can I try that one again? Sure. Okay. Do you want to get into it and then get out of it? I don't know. No. Are you sure? No. But All right. So oh, I think this is what I asked for in the first place. This is not what I asked for. Do you, do you want to do a basic to get into promenade? No. Okay. So we're going to start in promenade position. We're gonna skip the getting into it part. Yeah. And just walk. Beach ball. Yeah, so we have slow, slow, side together, slow, slow, side together, slow, slow, side together, slow, slow, side together, slow, slow, uh -huh. and side together. Boy, that, that, I don't like it. You don't like it? I don't like it at all. Okay. I mean, I, I guess doing one is fine, but just trying to like go around the room doing that feels very... Uh, it feels weird. It does feel weird. Yeah, I, I totally am with you on that. Uh -huh. Again, this is really intended to go either down a short side or a long side of the floor in a straight line, continuous, it's but... Very, it's very showy, too. Only because we're doing it like a show pony where we're going around uh -huh. in a ring. Yeah. yeah. Maybe that's it. If you have a long, narrow hallway in your house, this is a great thing to practice because you can do mm -hmm. multiple ones consecutive in a straight line and get a better sense or a better feel of that. Mm -hmm. The space that we have, it doesn't really work no, 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 no. that well. So it's going to feel a little awkward. Okay. Um, let's try getting into and getting out of it. And then I'll check in with the chat to see if anybody's having any questions or needs any clarification. Probably really telling me to engage my lats. Well, you should be engaging your lats. Yeah, yeah, okay, no. so no. so we're gonna do a basic. Uh -huh. I'm gonna have you get me into promenade position. Uh -huh. We'll do a lap of promenade walks, uh -huh. however many that takes, and then when we get back to this corner. I want you to keep me in closed position at the end and do a rock step to turn our corner. Oh, not a basic. A rock step. Correct. Okay. So you got to keep me from going into promenade position when you're ready to get out of it. Yes. Okay. All right. We're starting with the basic. Beach ball. Yeah. Lats. And we have slow, slow, side promenade, slow, slow, side together, slow, slow, side together, slow, slow. Side together, slip, slip, side together, step, rock, side together. I don't know if that's where we wanted to be, but... No, that was really good. Right. That was very nice. Were my lats sufficiently engaged? Much better. All right. Let's try that with music, and then if you guys have any questions, yeah. let me know. Or if you want to just harass Matt, you can absolutely do that as well. That's fine. They are reasonable criticisms, I'm sure. This is not Corolla de Bell. It just sounds remarkably like it. 
You know, if you keep calling out the non-copyright music as the copyright music, it sounds like that might make it copyright infringement. It's not that. Oh. What are we doing? Same thing we just did. Oh, okay. So basic, couple okay. pronouns, rock okay. and get on. Beach ball. Nice. Five, six, seven, slow. I think there are two different things I don't like about that. Okay. One is the thing I already said. The second one is being on the inside of that is probably even worse. Than, well, I won't say it's worse than being on the outside, but I feel like I, I'm making very tight. You're taking much smaller turns. steps and making a tighter turn than I have to. Yeah. Yeah. Which which feels very unnatural. Yeah. Again, this is not meant to be a curving yeah. pattern. Um, you can curve it if you get into trouble in traffic and you have mm -hmm. to, but it's really meant as a straight. Gotcha. The straights show up across right. the floor. Um, what else you got for me? We've got just enough time. I want to add in an underarm turn to our promenade walks. I said with the um, side sways and the underarm turn that I really believe in bookending this. I'm going to say that the same thing in um, our promenades, even though we're in a very limited space and it's going to feel super awkward. Really, really, really consider bookending this. So get your partner into promenade position. Do one thing to establish that then lead a complicated pattern, like an underarm turn, and then give your partner another promenade position, um, promenade walk, just to kind of recover and get out of it before you change any directions. Um, so, mm -hmm. needs perspective. All right. We're gonna do a promenade walk. We have slow, slow, side together. Mm -hmm. Now, from here, I would like you to walk backwards. This is a social variation, and I'll talk to you in a second about why I'm making all of this change. I'm gonna have you go backwards on your right, or on your left, mm -hmm. raising your left hand. Backwards on your right, side together to get into promenade, and then forward on the left, forward on the right, side together. I don't know that I understand what just happened there. So promenade walk. Yeah. Slow. Slow. Yeah. Side together. Then I'm going to have you lift your left hand to the left. Step uh -huh. backwards, but continuing down wherever your line of dance is. In this uh -huh. case, we're curving it. So back on your left, back on your right, side together, and then forward left, forward right, side together. I'm confused. Isn't my partner still going that way? No. No. I will be curving with you. Okay. But yes, if you were if you were doing this in a straight line, I think I've got just enough room on camera that I can do it this way. I would go slow, slow, side together, slow, slow, side together, slow, slow, okay. side together. Okay. But again, we've got some weird angles that we're playing with. All right. You want me to do that one more time from your perspective? No, I don't think that'll help. Okay. Uh, <laughs> from the follows perspective. Again, keep in mind, we're playing with some weird angles because of the room that we've got. I'm going to do my promenade walk like normal. So I have outside foot, inside foot, side together. From here, my right hand is going to be lifted. I'm going to step forward on my right, step across my body forward on my left, Unwind to the outside, side with my right, close my feet, and then I'm back in promenade position so I can do my walk slow, slow, side together. And again, for my follows, we have slow, slow, side together. I'm going to step forward on my right, step forward and across on my left, untwist. Side close and then promenade walk, slow, slow, side together. Mm -hmm. Biggest thing for the follows is separate, just like Matt was talking about earlier, separate the idea of travel and rotation. So if I just do my turn by itself, 
stepping forward on my right, I'm stepping forward and across on my left, and then I'm untwisting with my weight still on that left foot, taking my side step and closing my feet. Don't try to walk through the turn. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let's try this. All right, where do I start? I've already forgotten that part. Promenade walk. Promenade. Beach ball, lats, promenade. Yes. Turn. Yep. We have slow, mm -hmm. slow, side together. Uh -huh. Now, from here, because of the room that we're in, we've got to go that way. Uh -huh. Normally, we would continue going this way. Yeah. So, you're going to release. Yep. You're going to step backwards on your right, uh -huh. step back on your left. I'm going to turn. Uh -huh. Then we're going to go side, close, promenade position, uh -huh. and then we're going to walk out of it. Outside, inside, face to your partner. Okay. Yeah. I think we're going to have to stop over there. Yes, we will pause right there. All right. Try that one more time. Mm -hmm. And we have. Wait, wait. Okay. All right. Slow. Slow. Side together with the hands slow. Slow, I turn. Side together. Outside. Inside. Side together. Right. Yeah. Not right. too bad. No, I, I, I guess. I mean, it feels less like dancing and more like choreography at this point. Just a little bit, maybe because we're so constrained on space. So. Yeah, I would say because we're constrained on space, it's going to feel a little bit that way. Um, I just don't know how you would ever do that naturally and like lead into it. Yeah, I know. You're going to tell me that I need to do all these fancy yoga poses to it. No, 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 no. Yeah. no. Um, so, so is it just the turn itself or is it the getting into promenade that you don't feel like you could? Now, getting into promenade feels, uh, I won't say natural, but it makes sense to me. I think it's the turn piece uh, because we're making that sudden 90 degree turn out of nowhere. That certainly feels yes. a little, con I don't know if contrived is the right word, but yes. orchestrated. Right, and that's, that's definitely a product of this space. Yeah. Um, if we were to do this straight down the line, I think you would feel mm -hmm. less. Like we were trying to make something where there wasn't something. Maybe. Hey, uh, we've only got, you know, 10, 15 feet to play with, so it is what it is. Um, I don't know how well this is going to show up on camera, at least the beginning part, but I want to try uh -huh. something. Let's get all the way into this corner. And we're going to go straight towards the liquor cabinet. Uh, okay. Little steps. Doing what? This, the same promenade under our turn on so right, promenade so walk, promenade under and turn, promenade walk, all oh, towards okay. the liquor cap. Okay. So you have slow, uh -huh. slow, side together. Now step back towards the direction that you're continuing to go. Yep, right. on your left, slow, slow, side together, and then continue slow, slow. slow yeah, I feel like that, that would not be nearly as awkward. Yeah, That's, that is the pattern as intended. Okay. okay. Again, though, that requires that you have like 20 feet of space, mm -hmm. unencumbered, that you can do in a straight shot. Okay. Yeah, but does, yeah. That, does that make a little bit more yeah, sense? Yeah, it, it makes sense, I guess. I mean, you're never going to get me to really appreciate the music style <laughs> or the dance style or Foxtrot, but yeah, it's okay. That's okay. We'll get there eventually. Mm -hmm. We'll get there eventually. Um, so let me know in chat if you have any questions or if you want anything clarified. We'll, we're going to go ahead and pause the instruction portion right oh, there. Okay. Um, unless you want to do it one more time with the music. No. no. That's kind of what no. I figured. Um, so for your American <laughs> Fox Trot today, we actually did a whole bunch of things. We have mm. our straight basic. A uh, gentleman's going forward on the left. The follow is going backwards on the right. Mm -hmm. We have our left rock turn or left ad lib. You do uh, your first step like normal. Four. Shift your weight and then turn to the side and close the feet. We then did our side sways and our side sway with underarm turn. So we have our slow, mm -hmm. slow, side together, or if I'm turning, I can turn on the quick, quick. I have slow, slow, quick turn, and then continue out of it with a side sway. And then we also talked about our promenade walk and our promenade underarm turn. How many patterns? In total I was just, just, just going to ask. If, I believe that's six. That is six. So those are the six. Those are the six that I like to start with. So okay. those are the basic six. Um, 
that I like to start most of my students off with. So there's no weird reverse box that I gotta, I gotta there's parse no, my way through? There is no right box. Okay. Um, you can do what I refer to as a zigzag, um, where mm -hmm. you take your street basic um, and your foxtrot, and you have your slow, slow side together, and then as a lead, you would go back, back, side together. Um, just to give it a little bit more depth and dimension and to start playing with some concepts. Mm -hmm. But typically the six patterns that we just went over today are the six that I like to start with. Good. So if, if we've got the six on this, that means we can go back through and do the other five dances that we didn't get the six for before we ever have to come back to Foxtrot again, right? Correct. Okay, that's... Almost like I did that by design. Right. Um, yeah, so, but before we go back through and kind of finish off the six mm -hmm. the six basic um, steps and the six basic styles. I do want to take next week as an opportunity to talk about some lead and follow practice um, that you can do either on your own or if you happen to be quarantined with a partner, uh, things that you can practice with your partner to really help engage the lats and lead and follow and do all of those things that I think you're finding a little bit more frustrating. I mean, I don't know if frustration is the right word. I clearly know that I'm supposed to be doing it. You like to remind me. Chat occasionally reminds me, um, which is fine. I assume it's a thing I'll figure out over time. It's just, you know, getting to get used to it. There, there, I've said this before. There are a lot of things to remember to do at the same time. Absolutely. And uh, I can either act, you know, try to count or I can try to be doing the step correctly. Or maybe I can have my brain. Yeah. And on a really good day, maybe you can get two of those three. Yeah. Yeah. And I and I think that that concept goes well beyond just the beginner stage. Mm -hmm. Um, I have very advanced students all the time that it's like, okay, I have the notebook page long list of all of the things that we've been talking about in our lessons, mm -hmm. but I really only have the ability to focus on one of those things at a time. And mm -hmm. I need to make one of, I need to focus so much on that one that it becomes yeah. muscle memory so that when I move on to the second, I don't lose the first. Yeah. And I think that's the fear that a lot of people have is if I start, if I start focusing on my frame, then I'm going to forget my feet. And it's, I think it's a valid concern. Mm -hmm. We just have to get the feet or yeah. the counting or the tempo to the point where you can free up some of that brain space. Yeah. And I think we've talked about it a little bit before too. Um, the difference between the lead and the follow, especially mm -hmm. in early days, lead is very much mental, follow mm -hmm. is much more physical. Yeah. I have to figure out how to turn and spot and rotate. You have to figure out floor craft, tempo, footwork, alignment, frame, posture, lead timing, pattern, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> orientation. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of stuff on your plate yeah, in the it's, beginning. It's a, it's a conversation or an argument we probably all had at work at one point. It's like someone wants 10 things, they can have two of the 10 well, or they can have 10 of the things poorly, or maybe not at all. Yeah. Hmm. yeah absolutely. So you just have to kind of pick what, what yeah. you're going to focus on on that day and how you can make that one thing the best it possibly can be. Yeah. All the time. All the time. Get very used to mm -hmm. rolling those shoulders back yeah. and down, having a nice long, nice long neckline. Yeah, we were watching some show recently. It's probably that terrible Netflix thing you commented on uh, last week. The baby baby ball. ballroom. Um, and I commented on some some person who was on screen being very oddly shaped in the shoulders and neck. Yes. And uh, you're like, yeah, that's just what he's supposed to look like. Yeah. Um. I, I, I forget which Scandinavian country, uh, one of the instructors and upper, older amateur partners uh, is from, but he, how did I describe it? He has, he has the body of a swimmer and then a very long neck like a, like a giraffe or a gazelle. That's because we want, a, he's a standard dancer, so, mm -hmm. so we want this like long T-line and this very tall, elongated neck. And most of us are used to, you know, really yeah. that hunched over posture where our elbows are up to our ears. So the way I stand, you mean? Yes, <laughs> the way that all of us are standing when we aren't thinking about it. Oh. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So thank you guys so much for coming in and dancing with us. Hopefully that was 
helpful and useful information. Do we have any other questions or clarifications? Oh, you, you've got exactly one additional comment in chat. Yeah. Would you like to guess what it is? Uh, stand up straight. Engage your lats. Engage your lats. Yeah. yeah. Engage the lats. Yeah. So important. So important. Oh, so crucial. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, have a wonderful weekend. So next up for next week, uh, Monday morning, um, we have our live podcast stream chat show, whatever you want to call it, with Marcos Martinez of MMD mm -hmm. uh, Dancewear. So excited to talk to him. Um, so if you have any questions that you want answered, mm -hmm. uh, send those to me on social media. I'll have a post up tomorrow asking for um, community questions if you can't tune in or if you can tune in, just pop them in the chat. Uh, Wednesday, for Wedding Wednesday, I have already forgotten what I said we were going to talk about. I think it was going to be swing. I think we were going to oh, do we swing and then we were going to revisit Nightclub Tuesday. Yeah. Um, so we were going to do swing. I think it was specifically the, the Nightclub Tuesday. We, it was yeah. either going to be swing or Nightclub Tuesday. Keep an eye out on social media for that. Um, and then Friday, we will do lead and follow workshop for oh, this one. We're not going back through the six dances again? Not yet. I want to I wanna oh, yeah. answer and clarify some things when it comes to lead and follow before we add on more patterns. That sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. It will be, and you'll get to avoid music for the majority mm -hmm. of it. Which is not the music that's a problem. It's the Foxtrot music. <laughs> it's problem. just the Foxtrot music. I enjoy yeah. the Foxtrot music. Yeah. Um, yeah, enjoy enjoy the rest of your weekend. Uh, I guess check out the NFL draft if it's still going on and you're into sports ball. Um, you're competing both against the NFL draft and an NBA game right now. I can't believe that either of those two organizations are on Twitch, on Twitch. in this particular channel, but go figure. I know. We specifically picked the sports and fitness like subsection because we thought that it would be pretty easy to get people to tune in if it was like the nichest, niche, yeah. the nichest group on Twitch. It's but, super niche yeah. until the NFL shows up. Yeah. Damn you, NFL! Yeah. All I know about the NFL this year is that Tom Brady is no longer with the Patriots and that has people in an uproar. That's all I got. That's all I got. I am not a sports person. Well, better. I'm not going to play any games. Oh, yeah. Yeah, don't play empty stadium with face masks underneath the comments. No, we're wearing face masks. Oh, it'll be <laughs> it will be interesting to say the least. All right, oh, this has gotten silly. We'll see you guys on Monday. All right. Thanks. Oh, I'll stand here and engage my lats. There you go.